Good morning, Steeler Nation. Well, guys, I'm the last one to do it, but here we are. Here's the trades, cuts, and the 53. G'day guys, welcome back to Steel Nation Australia. Look, I'm not going to beat around the bush, I'm not going to just go crazy, but we're going to get right into it, alright? Right into it. We got some trades happening. Why I was asleep, because I'm nine hours bloody behind in the USA land, right? Adam Shefty and Brooke Pryor and pretty much the whole league, um, the Steelers have traded for linebacker Malik Reed to the Pittsburgh Steelers for a late draft pick, compensation per sources. And Brooke Pryor says as well, Malik Reed to is a fourth year outside linebacker, 34 uh, career starts, 15 sacks, and there's now depth behind TJ Watt and Highsmith. All right, so what will happen, guys? I'll probably talk about that through the week when I get a chance to, to really break that down. But that is massive news. That is that is a good addition. We need someone behind uh, Highsmith and TJ as well. We can't have just just have Sutska. All right. Next, we have another trade as well. Uh, offensive line trade. We have former, uh, no, who is it? Yeah, for my mate, uh, my mate Dave Schofield from BTSC. Uh, offensive lineman Jesse Davis. Now I have no idea, no idea who Jesse Davis is. However, the O line does need help, and we will look through the roster in just a minute and how he's going to help the O line there. So that's exciting to have. Uh, I think it was for another a seventh round pick as well. I'm pretty sure it was a seventh round pick. Uh, in 2023 or 2024 or something like that. So Steelers pick up another trade and offensive line. So we got help at uh, we got help at outside linebacker, and we also got help at uh, at the O line. However, while you guys are here, is you want to know who's been cut, right? And I want to bring up my mate again, Dave Schofield here. Get rid of me. Let's look through this uh, article. This is from Behind the Saw Curtain, the guys who I work for, Jeff Hartman and Dave Schofield. So shout out to them. Uh, let's go through the list, and I will link this article in the description as well. Right, I haven't really seen. I've, I've only, you know, um, looked at this once or twice. So we have. Um, it's now been confirmed. I think Jay Sternberg has been cut. That's a tight end. Lyndon Stevens has been cut as well. Rondell Carter, outside linebacker, was going to make the team. John LeGlue, I was quite uh, surprised actually that he got cut. I thought he was going to be some O line depth. All right, Adrian Ely, the guy that got picked up literally like a week ago, cut, gone. That's that's how crazy the NFL is. Uh, Henry Mondo has been with the team a long time. Um, he's been cut. He might make the practice squad. Who knows? Uh, Ryan McGollum, no idea who that guy is. Cut. See you later. Uh, the Davis brothers, Carlos Davis and Khalil Davis. Khalil Davis was that one who was a, was the bloke 68 who knocked out that Seahawk at, at, at the end of the game. So we appreciate your efforts for that. But uh, but unfortunately, those two brothers have been cut. Uh, I, I sound like I'm Homer Simpson. You know, you're cut, he's cut, he's cut, they're cut. All right. Uh, Justin Lane, cut. Uh, Gonskis. Now, this is a big one. <clears throat> This, 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 I, I do not understand. I do not understand Anthony McFarlane. Let me bring you back to the live screen. How do I get to me? I don't understand the cutting of Anthony McFarlane over Benny Snell. But we'll get into that in the 53. I just, I just don't get it. I really don't understand it. Uh, we'll move on. And what do you guys think? Are you happy with McFarlane being cut over Snell? Please type in the comments right now. Are you happy? Are you, do you, do you, did you, I would rather see Anthony McFarlane. I think McFarlane's a better running back than Snell. He made more promise in the preseason. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Also, Joe Haig too. Cut. I thought Joe Haig was going to make the roster. Um, that's crazy to me. Anyway, so here's, here's some more cuts as well. William Dunkel, Chaz Green, LeGlue, Max Borgie, the, the, the running back. Uh, Kevin Radar, cut. Unfortunately, I thought he was a good special teamer. Uh, Tyler Sneed, Tyler Vaughn, the, the, the preseason star receiver, he's been cut. But the Steelers have a lot of receivers, and we'll get to them in a minute, right? Cody White, cut. Uh, Elijah Riley, the guy we signed for uh, DeMonte Carzi literally like three or four days ago or last week, cut. Uh, rookie Chris Steele, Lyndon Stevens, cut. Buddy Johnson, second-year player, linebacker, wasn't maybe performing up to the speed what he was doing. He might go onto the practice squad if he doesn't get picked up by another team. He's been cut. Um, Hamikal Rashid, the guy who was trying out for the outside linebacker, cut. Delonte Scott, another guy that I kind of liked. I thought he was playing well. I thought number 50 Delonte Scott was playing well uh, at middle linebacker there and, and was playing better than I think Buddy Johnson. However, they've, they've gone with Mark Robinson, who we'll talk about in a minute, cut. Uh, James Vorders, uh, he's cut. Davis, Donovan Jeter, cut, cut, cut. All these guys are cut. <laughs> 
the, the sad, unfortunate part of this is that, is that the, the Pittsburgh Steelers have to go from, you know, 80 or 90 to 80, then 80 to 53. And then I think over, I think tomorrow or the next day, they announced the practice squad. And all around the league right now, there are so many teams cutting players, like 30-odd players to 32 teams. What, over like 900 players that just got cut? So it's just part of the business. It does suck. It sucks for them. But it is most interesting as a football fan. I tell you that much, right? Let's find out who made the team. Who made the team? Uh, you guys probably can't read that. So I do apologize, but I will be... Every single every single thing that I'm talking about today, I should be breaking down into more detail throughout the week because there's a lot going on. There's been two trades and there's been a, cut, a ton of cuts and and the, the, the roster. So let's put me down the bottom. Uh, hang on, where am I? Oh, no, okay. So, so, so here we go, right? So quarterbacks here, we have Mason... Uh, of course, we have uh, Mason Rudolph, Kenny Pickett, Trubisky, right? That, that's, that was going to happen, okay? That's fine. We'll find out who's going to be quarterback one, hopefully soon. Running back-wise, here's where I have a problem. Najee Harris, Benny Snell, and Jalen Warren, Derek Watt. I'm thankful that Jalen Warren is on the team. I'm happy the Steelers didn't get rid of Jalen Warren, right? Now, Benny Snell, the yeesh. Yeesh, 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 yeesh. This fella, in my opinion, has to step up this year in 2022. I don't want to see him uh, play the exact same way he's been playing for the last three years or whatever it may be. I'm kind of done. I'm done with the Benny Snell experiment. I'm over. What do you guys think? Are you happy with Benny Snell making the team? Let me know in the comments below, right? Derek Watt. Derek Watt didn't play the whole preseason. This guy better have a fantastic season as well. And he's getting paid like the, the, the 10th most best player on the team, like $4 million a year or something, or $4 million in total. I don't even know what it is. He's getting paid a lot, okay? Let's move on. Receivers, Chase Claypool, Miles Boykin, Pickens, Deontay, Calvin, Austin, Sims, and Osheski. So they're going with seven, right? Now, the one big name there is Calvin Austin. I think he's been injured a little bit. They may put him on IR, so they might have, you know, put him on the roster, and they may put him on IR. But one big thing I want to take out of this, I'm happy that Steven Sims made it. And from the play of Gunnar Osheski, I did say the other day he wasn't going to make it, but I like how Gunner, Gunner's made the team as well. So Gunner and Steven Sims, and also Boykin too. I like what Boykin can do. So I like how they've got Sims, Boykin, and Oshesky behind our starters, okay? We just got to see what's going to happen with Calvin Austin. Now, tight end, Zach Gentry, Haywood, Frymouth, they are set in stone. They are fantastic. All three of those blokes are fantastic. Now, the O-line, Green, Hassanow, Mason Cole, Dare Moore, Dotson, Akor for James, uh, James Daniels, and, and Jesse Davis, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven O line. I thought they were going to carry eight or nine. So we will discuss that in future. Okay. The defensive line is what I thought. That's that's the only one I got right. Adams, Ogan Jovi, Lala Milk, Alulu, Wormley, Haywood, and Leal. That's the only one I got right. Right. Uh, linebackers, Spillane, Zutska, Jack, Devin Bush, Highsmith, Watt, Robinson, and Malik Reed. So I like that. I like those I like those uh, middle linebackers. Mark Robinson made the team. And I think Devin Bush needs to step it up. Uh, we have cornerbacks here. Uh, the only one that stands out, I think, was James Pierre. He, James Pierre made the team again, but he kind of makes like, you know, special teams, I guess, right? Safety. We have Demonte Kazi, of course, but he's got, probably going to be pushed to in, injured uh, reserve or IR, whatever it's called, right? The other guys, Trey Norwood, make the team. And you know what? Uh, where am I? There's, there's, a, there's a, a YouTube channel out there that wanted to get rid of Trey Norwood. And they're joking. They're bloody joking, all right? Yeah, so if you look at that list, Trey Norwood, Demonte Kazi, Miles Killebrew, those guys we thought were going to make, and of course the guys on the special teams, Harvin, Boswell, and Christian Kunz, right? They're all set in stone. But there was there was a, you know, uh, a channel out there saying that Trey Norwood and Louder Milk were going to get cut, and you're a bunch of jokers. You don't know what you're talking about. You have no idea. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the video today. It is trades, cuts, and the 53. I will, throughout the week... Um, discussing these things individually, the trades, the cutting, the why is Benny Snell on the team? Why is Derek Watt on the team? All right. So that's pretty much it for me today. I just mind blown, but I'm happy. I'm happy Steven Sims made it and I'm happy Miles Boy Boykin made it. I'm happy as well that Mark Robinson gets a chance to make it. Um, I'm happy DeMonte Carsey still makes it, but I think he'll be on the IR and hopefully he can heal up. Over the, it's not too serious over the next few weeks. 
But we're now in go mode. And I want to bring up one last picture because I, I saw this on Twitter, man. And if you guys can send me this, if you guys can send me some beers, that'd be fantastic. Cameron Hayward puts up uh, the Bud Light beer, uh, Blitzberg. They look unreal. I probably wouldn't even open them to drink them, right? I would probably just keep them as a souvenir. If you guys can send me some beers, that'd be fantastic. All right. As always, guys, thank you for checking out Still on Ace Australia. If you like the content, if you like the, the content that takes about nine hours to, to get to air, can't, I can't break the news. If you like the, 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 the delayed content, hit that sub, hit that like. I'll see you later.